Hello all, welcome to the lecture series Additive Manufacturing and its Applications. In this video, we are going to see about the 3D printing technique that is laser engineered net shaping. It is simply called as lens. Lens that is laser engineered net shaping is a computer controlled uh, technique that uses laser and it welds the metallic powder layer by layer. So this uh, technique is one of the uh, technique which is similar to the wire arc additive manufacturing. Whereas there the material is supplied in the form of wire and here the material is supplied in the form of powder. In laser engineering net shaping it uses a shielding gas uh, similar to the wire arc additive manufacturing in order to avoid the oxidization effect. So this is a schematic diagram. We can see here, it is a computer control that controls the flow of the shielding gas as well as the laser source. So this laser source is the major thing here uh, which supplies the heat as well as you can see the nozzle here in the nozzle, uh, there is a supply of the material in the powder form, which is indicated in the orange color in the schematic diagram. So this powder form of metal is fused by the application of laser and it is deposited over the work, work, work plate or the uh, uh, table or the build area layer by layer. So this entire process is carried out uh, in the vacuum chamber. So this is because of the uh, avoiding uh, oxidization effect. So here it is clearly indicated that how uh, the uh, laser uh, source is concentrated and the material is flown in the powder form. The point number one indicates the laser that is focused through a lens that is the main thing here because the laser is the source which heats the uh, metal uh, that is in the powder form. The second is the workpiece. The third one is the metallic powder you can see it, it is supplied uh, through the either sides of the nozzle. So this metallic powder or uh, it can be a wire form of metal is introduced and it is focused by the laser beam. So the metal powder and the workpiece melt and thus building the surface. An inert gas is supplied to protect both the laser and the melt from contamination during the welding process. Because during the welding process there is a chance of oxidization or there is a chance of uh, reaction with the uh, environmental gases. So in order to avoid and in order to have a quality product this process is carried out in a vacuum chamber. So let us see a video which describes how the laser engineered net shaping is processed in this 3D printing technique. Laser engineered net shaping or lens is an additive manufacturing process in the directed energy deposition category. It uses powders sprayed into a laser to produce fully dense parts with a high deposition rate. To begin, a 3D drawing is imported into the device software that divides the part in multiple layers. The powder used is placed in a dispenser, which ensures a constant flow during projection. More than one type of powder can be used at the same time, allowing the production of parts with chemical composition gradients. The chamber of the system is flushed with argon in order to obtain an atmosphere containing a few ppm of oxygen. It is thus possible to work with reactive metals such as titanium and zirconium. This technique can also do part repair, production of surface cladding, and adding new sections to an existing part. The part is printed in a few hours. After a last step of surface machining, the final part is obtained. Laser so the uh, main advantage uh, here is that uh, uh, you can repair the uh, uh, existing component. For example, if there is a metallic component, if there is any 
uh, loss of material or loss of profile that loss of uh, material can be uh, added by using this process so repairment of the existing uh, uh, existing product can be done by using this and another thing is uh, there is a higher rate of solidification or cooling rate when compared with the conventional manufacturing process like casting but the major disadvantage is that uh, the initial uh, and the investment cost is high <coughs> and this process uh, requires more time for curing and probably uh, this process is uh, comes under the category of direct energy deposition so this process that is a lens and wire arc additive manufacturing are preferably uh, uh, used in all the uh, parts where the uh, uh, supply material is a metallic thing so for all the metallic components uh, either it can be a la laser agent in head shaping process or a wire arc additive manufacturing so uh, this process is efficient and effective in order to have the desired shape of the product so thank you for listening have a nice day